Jennifer Aniston needs no introduction. All thanks to her iconic role as Rachel in Friends. Jen, who has been in the public eye for over two decades, has had several high-profile relationships and marriages, which have been widely covered by the media. The actor's life is always a topic of interest for the netizens. Latest news surfaced that Aniston might actually be seeing somebody. Could it be the end game for on-screen Rachel Green? Let's find out in this video as we are going to reveal every tiny detail surrounding the dating rumors of Jennifer Aniston and decide if it's true or not. Before the video starts, make sure you are subscribed to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to keep yourself updated with our regular uploads. Before we jump on to reveal who the new mystery guy is, let us first briefly go through Jennifer's past dating life. Aniston's most famous relationship was with actor Brad Pitt. The couple's marriage was highly publicized and they were regarded as one of Hollywood's power couples. However, rumors of an affair between Pitt and his Mr. and Mrs. Smith co-star Angelina Jolie began to circulate in 2005, and Aniston and Pitt announced their separation that same year. Their divorce was finalized in 2005, and Pitt went on to start a relationship with Jolie. Jennifer Aniston and Brad Pitt were one of the most iconic celebrity couples of the early 2000s. They first met in 1998 and began dating in 1999 before getting engaged in 2000 and marrying in 2003 in a lavish ceremony in Malibu. However, their marriage came to an end in 2005 when they announced their separation. Since their divorce, Aniston and Pitt have remained on friendly terms, occasionally appearing in public together and exchanging kind words in interviews. In 2005, Jennifer said that they would like to announce that after seven years together, they have decided to formally separate. She quoted, For those who follow these sorts of things, we would like to explain that our separation is not the result of any speculation reported by the tabloid media. After separation in 2015, Jennifer even said that they've exchanged good wishes and all that sort of stuff to each other. But it is not a constant thing. The two again reunited for a charity event in 2020, where she said that she and Brad were buddies and it was absolutely fun. While there has been speculation about a potential romantic reunion between Aniston and Pitt, both have denied any such rumors and maintained that they are simply good friends. Nonetheless, their enduring bond has continued to capture the public's attention and fascination, with many fans still holding out hope for a reunion. Right after her famous divorce with Brad Pitt, Aniston began dating actor Vince Vaughn in 2005 after meeting on the set of their film, The Breakup. The couple dated for about a year before calling it quits in 2006. Their relationship was highly publicized at the time, and the media speculated that Aniston has found a new love after her highly publicized divorce from Brad Pitt. Once, in 2006, Jen publicly stated for People magazine that it was just easy working with Vince. Jennifer said that he was a guy's guy, so it was fun to work with him as he was always up for anything. Lastly, she even called him incredibly funny, as we all know so he made the days a lot lighter than they could have been for the actress. Similarly, Vince stated on several occasions that there was nothing like a cozy night with your girlfriend, and that's the best thing ever. While being interviewed about their breakup by Vanity Fair, the actress said how it was a funny thing to walk into your house and have people you don't know on your couch eating food that you probably ordered. She even quoted, It's a strange world out there, but it's just not my thing anymore. I think it's too hard to have a life and do that. Aniston and Vaughn were known for keeping their relationship relatively private, but their chemistry on and off screen was undeniable. Despite ultimately deciding to go their separate ways, they have both spoken positively about each other in the years since their split. After that, Aniston had an on-again, off-again relationship with musician John Mayer between 2008 and 2009. The couple first started dating in 2008, but broke up briefly in August of that year. They rekindled their relationship a few months later, but ultimately called it quits for good in 2009. Their relationship was highly publicized due to their status as two of Hollywood's most well-known stars. John Mayer had confirmed their relationship, stating how happy he was during a concert in 2008. After breaking up, Jen jokingly said that while speaking to Vogue that people need to mind their own business. Did you ever think Claudia Schiffer and David Copperfield made sense? Love just shows up. In 2012, while speaking to Rolling Stone, John Mayer stated that he had a lot of respect for Aniston. He felt like both of them were tremendous champions. He even called his relationship a powerful one. Aniston and Mayer's relationship was known for its ups and downs, with rumors of their reconciliation circulating in the years after their initial split. However, they ultimately went their separate ways and have both since moved on to other relationships. In 2011, 
Aniston met actor Justin Thoreau on the set of their film Wanderlust in 2011, and the couple began dating shortly thereafter. They got engaged in 2012 and married in 2015 in a private ceremony at their home in Bel Air, California. However, they announced their separation in 2018 and officially divorced later that year. On their initial meeting, Jennifer said that the two met on a movie and how she thought he was very sweet and was always very nice. She even remembered thinking he was very dark and secretive. While publicly announcing their engagement, Justin Thoreau said that the two had been talking about it for a while, so it wasn't a shock to anyone. When Jennifer was asked about their separation in 2018, she said that it was kind of the most gentle separation in that there was no animosity. Despite their split in 2017, Aniston and Thoreau have maintained a cordial relationship and have spoken positively about each other in interviews. They also continue to work together on various projects, including the recently announced sequel to their movie, The White Lotus. Since her separation from Thoreau, Aniston has not been publicly linked to anyone romantically. She has spoken openly about her experiences with relationships and marriage and has been celebrated for her independence and resilience. Earlier this month, when Jennifer appeared on The Late Late Show, people started speculating that the actress is probably seeing someone. In the interview, she revealed that her co-star, Adam Sandler, has been her closest friend for the past 20 years. He often calls her for advice and questions her dating life too. In no time, the internet went crazy over the idea of Jennifer and Adam being together. Unfortunately, these rumors were not true, as the two continue to remain great friends to these years. Currently, reports suggest that Aniston is living her best single life. Through her interviews, Aniston has emphasized the importance of self-love and self-care, as well as the freedom and joy that can come with being single. She has also been vocal about the challenges of being in the public eye and facing scrutiny for her personal life. Ultimately, Aniston has demonstrated resilience and positivity in the face of these challenges, continuing to inspire fans with her talent, beauty, and grace. Jennifer Aniston has spoken openly about being single and navigating life on her own terms. Overall, she has been candid but respectful in her interviews about her past partners, focusing on the positive aspects of her relationships rather than dwelling on any negative experiences. What do you think of Adam Sandler and Jennifer Aniston's intact friendship through all these years? Do you think Adam Sandler has a right to question Jennifer's relationship decisions? Do let us know your views in the comments down below and give this video a huge thumbs 